Hi everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Boost of Sports Card Collecting. Um, today, you can see I'm ready for work again. Once again, I'm getting ready to go to work. But uh, I got my order back from the ones that I um, submitted that were in different uh, card grading companies. And I got my cards back. And I'm going to show you what I got versus what I had. It's kind of what I thought. It is. It really is. I mean, for the most part, you kind of know how it goes. Um, PSA is the number one grading company for a reason, and uh, we tend to get uh, better grades or lower grades with, when we come from other companies because they don't have the same grading standards, and <clears throat> sometimes they just get better grades than they should. So, let's start with the top when I get to it. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So this is the first card I'm going to show. This was a 1990 Lee Frank Thomas and it, it was a BCCG 10, right? That's what it was. After I took it to PSA, came back a PSA Mint 9. So this is a card that it was Chase card when I was a kid. Everybody wanted it. Super awesome. I'm glad to have it. Slabbed up in a PSA holder now. Okay, second one. Second one is this SGC 9.5 2020 Bowman's Best Fernando Tatis Jr. Franchise 2020 Die Cut. It was a 9.5. You know, PSA don't do 0.5s very often, so here it is. I got a PSA 9 on it. Pretty sweet looking card, honestly. So, that's cool. I'll take that one. Next card is... Okay, this is the next card. It was a 2017 Topps Update Gold rookie card of Cody Bellinger. You know how I have a lot of Cody cards, right? And it was a Mint 9 from, um, no, it doesn't even have, oh, the world's most source of income, Beckett. It was a Beckett. It was a Mint 9. For PSA, it came back a 8.5. So this is the first time I ever got a 0.5 grade. So this must be a pretty good 8. So, it was a 9, and then it's got an 8.5 for PSA. I know it's not worth a whole heck of a lot anymore, but uh, it's definitely going to be in my PC. So, that's cool. Uh, next one. Is a 2020 Panini Unparalleled Jordan Alvarez. It was a Beckett 9. And after sending this one into PSA, I got it as a PSA 9. So not bad. That one's same grade. Worked out. Cool. Next card is... A 1993-94 Ultra Fleer Inside Out Michael Jordan. And it was an 8.5. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now Beckett 8.5. It wasn't a pretty clean case though, I have to admit. But this came back a PSA 8. And if you saw my last one, I got a lot of Jordans that are going in, so that's cool. Next card is a 2014 Topps Chrome Refractor Jimmy Garoppolo rookie card. Off-centered quite a bit. It got a 2014, or this, it was a 8.5 according to Beckett, right? And it came back a 7 from PSA. It's pretty off centered at the bottom, you can see it. So it is what it is on that, but uh, you know, he's a 49er, so you know he's a Raider now, but that's cool. I'll keep that one. 1999 Elite. Donruss Elite, 
21, number 21, Steve Young, primary color, blue, number 410 of 950, and it got a 8 from, this is SGC. And from PSA, that card got a 6. That one kind of sucked. That hurt. That was, this is one of my PC guys, but it's a card I didn't have, and now it's in a PSA slab, so very cool. <clears throat> not complaining much because I think the grades were fair for what I got coming from where I got them. All right, this next one is a 1982 Topps Cal Ripken Jr. And it's the three different people. It's the Butner, Ripner, and Signer. And it was an 8 SGC, and it came back a near mint, mint 8 for PSA. So that's cool. And that, that, there's the uh, old one. There it is. So, okay. Next one is a 1986 Tops Jerry Rice rookie card. It was a BCCG8, right? But this thing was beat up, and I knew it. So it came back a PSA 4. So there's a big difference right there. But this is a Jerry Rice rookie card. Still very cool for me. I'll probably try to move up eventually, but it came back at PSA 4. That's a big, dramatic drop for grades. So. All right. Uh, next one is a 1993-94 Finest, number 99, Shaquille O'Neal, Atlantic Finest. It was a BCC G9. And it came back a PSA near mint mint eight. Very cool card though. I think this is an awesome card. So definitely add that to my collection. Next is a 1982 tops. Number 486, Ronnie Lott. This was a BCCG. Near mint, mint nine. And when I got it back, it was pretty off center. It is a EXMT six. I know that's a big hit. That's a three card, three spot drop too. But this once again is a rookie card of a Hall of Famer for my favorite team. Goes into my collection. All right. This next one is a 1980. Oh, I'm sorry, 1983 Fleer. Number 179, Wade Boggs rookie. It came back a PSA 8, which I was kind of disappointed because this was a BCCG 10. And the corners are real sharp, but uh, I guess PSA gave it an 8. So, Wade Boggs rookie, PSA 8. Next one is a 2017 Upper Deck Phil Hughes rookie card. It was a BCCG 10. It came back a PSA 7. So you can see it's at least two or three grades lower for almost all my cards. Kind of figured that was going to happen though. I mean, this one is a 2000, this, this one kind of hurt. 2003 Upper Deck LeBron James box set number 23. This is the one with the USA flag in front. I had it as a BCCG 10, and it came back at PSA 9. That one's not too bad, right? That one's cool. I mean, I was kind of hoping for a PSA 10 in it. But this one, this one really did suck. This is a 2003 Upper Deck LeBron James set, box set number 7, and it was a BCCG 10. Oops, there you go. And it came back a PSA 7. But these are LeBron James rookie cards, so kind of cool to have, but that just kind of sucked. And I don't know where this one went, where it don't seem to have it. That's okay. It was an SGC 9.5. It's a 2020 Bowman's Best Louis Roberts franchise 2020 die cuts. And it came back a mint 9. So that was all my cards, and one card that they didn't grade, which is this 2000, 1996 Flare Metal 
Uh, number six, Jerry Rice Goldfingers. It's an 8.5 from SGC. They said the card is too small. It's uh, It's been trimmed, so it's not gradable. So this is the only card I still have that's uh, not PSA. Well, I have one more that I'm going to kind of crack, but that's it. So you guys let me know in the comments down below what you think of uh, what uh, I did here when it came to cracking them out. Whether it was smart, whether it wasn't smart. Most of this stuff is just because it's a personal collection and I wanted it in PSA slabs. But let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, please, if you, you're new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. I'm almost up to 300 subscribers. Looking forward to 300. And uh, as always, peace.